what is such thing as a good man? Can you answer that question? Because what does a good man do? Anyway, let, no, let no, what's a good man do? Look, what does a good man do? You know, you can you get cold out That's fine. Okay. I have yes. my own. Okay. Um, yeah. What does a good man do? Can you describe a good man so we can tell the audience what a good man is? Okay. I mean, what's the characteristics of a good man? Okay, so can you answer my question first? No, 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 no. We, we need to understand the question. We're trying to understand the question thoroughly. What yeah, is a good man too then? What do you think is a good no, man? No, I, I don't know. I'm asking. If I'm an audience and I don't know, then you have to explain it to someone. Well, you're a woman, so you should know How would we what know what a good man is? is. No, no, you know what a good man is subjective. You're, like, yeah, that's subjective, right? So what is a good man? Well, I would say it's pretty objective. There's certain no. duties so, that she so needs what, to have So what, what do you need to do? You need to have certain, obviously you need to have certain duties. So what's duty? Guys, rumble.com slash fresh and fit. Hop in, man. Live stream IRL. Big up, big up, big up. Big up, big up, big up. Big up yourself. Big up, big up. 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 Yo, say what up. Say what up, bro. You're on the vlog right now. What's good, guys? Is this is this Castle Club? This is actually the YouTube vlog. YouTube vlog, what's YouTube good? Vlog? Be out here in Miami. It's yeah, lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brickle, you know what's up. Because you've seen it yeah, already. We, we got we, in the building. Castle Club in the building. We, 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 we Talk to trader. Find, we're trying to find love out in these streets. It's tough, man. But it's tough, it's G. Tough. It's tough, man. It's, it's tough, tough, man. man. We can't it's do tough. none of that shit. It's, it's tough. tough out here. Yo, you, we, know, you know what we need, though? To get put on one of Fresh and Fit's matchmaking, then we'll really find love. Let's yeah, do it, bro. We, 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 we Wednesday. Might actually, actually do, on Wednesday. Yeah. Get my, number, get my number, get my number, get my number. All right, bet. Okay. Um, I'd be lying if I said I remember because I don't really cry over men, y'all. I really don't. I don't. I love myself. You know. You haven't cried. You can't remember. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the road right now, man. Look at our properties. My guy David Roca, one of the best realtors here in Miami. Got me all my spots for uh, rental and as well for property investing. But this area right here is good, man. It's a good area. There's a school over here. There's also um, a church over here as well. Uh, looks pretty clean. What's, what's the indicator of a good environment you would say for investing, David? Uh, you gotta look for appreciation. Mm -hmm. uh, close to good schools, close to uh, freeways. Um, there's, there's a bunch of different uh, points you need to look at for, for investing. Mm -hmm. you, walk, walk, you know, drive around the neighborhood like we've been doing for the past 30 minutes. Yeah. See the develop, develop, new development area like this one. Oh, the look, at, look at that one, that's pretty nice. Guys, always look at the neighborhood that you're buying in just to make sure that it's a good area. Daytime and nighttime as well. Yeah, talk to other property owners, <laughs> do your research, and you can't lose. Yeah, and somebody needs some TLC, but once it's you know worth it, then I think it's still a good buy as well. Yeah, that's what I always. But find. the main thing is cash flow. If it's cash flowing, then say yes. If it's not, then just say no. Yeah, buy something undervalued, put a little bit of money into it, and uh, you know you'll get those equity gains later on down the road. Yeah, so we're looking right now. Um, is that, is that another church? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. This, what the heck? Two churches. <laughs> Two churches and a school, bro. W. It's actually nice here. Yeah, bro. It's a not bad neighborhood. Gated. Yeah. Hey, man. This might be the move, David. Looks good to me. Yeah, so. Is that Davido? Is that Davido? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it looks like Davido a little bit. That, uh. Another church. Oh my, bro, there's three churches here. What the? Yo, that's a sign from God, bro. This place is <laughs> sign from God, bro. <laughs> this place three, is holy. Three churches, bro? Come on, man. God, yo, this this is a sign, David. God's telling us to get that property. I guess so. Let's do it. And it's a lot of units. That's one church right there. We just we just passed another one down the street. Yeah, this, is new, like, this is a brand new development here. 
the right. windows. There's also another test, man. If you see hood niggas in your area, run. Because that means they're liming, chilling. <laughs> if you see barbecues in your front yard. Barbecue up in here. Keep, keep, keep it moving. <laughs> uh, they look like uncles. They don't look like hood niggas. <laughs> well, you never know. But they look more like uncles. Um, but it's a nice area, man. It's a nice area, man. All new development up here. All new townhouses. Oh, let's whole uh, rows. Let's go over there and see see what's up. This could be a windy neighborhood. I but, should go straight. Look at all this. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Yo, we, yeah, we, we need to go see that property tomorrow, if possible, or, or today if you can make a phone call. Yeah. But look at all this, guys. It's brand new development here. Clean. Looks really like new. Uh, compared to other properties in the area. It's always a good sign when we see these new new developments, all new townhouses. Yeah. All gated. Look, okay. All nice. Look at look at the comparison between that area and then this area. That's great. These, I, I have a feeling that all of these are sold. Look, they're all boarded up. Somebody bought all these. Probably same developer bought really? all of them. I'd, I'd say the same developer bought all of these lands. We do the same. Wow. Thing. This looks crazy compared to that. Yeah, nobody lives here. This is crazy. They're probably gonna just knock it down, huh? Yeah, that's what they're doing for sure. Mm. All this, I bet. All this. Whoa. See, look, another corner park developing here too. Wow. Always a good idea to drive around the neighborhood before you buy. Right, right. Jeez. So that means whatever you buy up here is going to go up in value because it's going to renovate more stuff and add some more value as well. So that's pretty good. Good to know. Not bad at all. But yeah, guys, um, getting a new property very soon, uh, going all in on real estate, no holding back this time. I spent a lot of money on cars, and I was cool and all, but no, no more cars, just real estate. Time to get some passive income. Yes, yes, definitely. I got a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Got a little bit, a little bit of but need some more. You going in the, pro the property? Hell yeah. It's open. <laughs> Might as well. Shoot. I'm sticking in under the guise of being a... Uh, Oh, what are we? Are we like uh, inspectors? <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice here. Uh, yeah, it's that, nice. All, that, all that Compared land to land. back there, it's like night and day difference. Yeah, all that land back there is probably the same the developer doing the same thing, developing new townhouses. You can find the area. Yeah. I think it's a good area, man. I like it. By the way, this area is Little Haiti. Mm. It's just north of in, in Florida. Town. Yeah. Just north of downtown Miami. Huge developments are going on here. All right. All right, guys. See you in a bit.